Hi, everybody, and welcome to RSS Feeds and Live Bookmarks in Firefox. Here's our agenda. First thing we'll be talking about is what is Firefox? Uh, the next item is what are some advantages of using Firefox? Um, next is downloading Firefox and installing it on your computer. Uh, and then the last but not the least is how do you create a live bookmark or, uh, or add an RSS feed uh, to Firefox? Okay, so these are the topics we'll be looking at. So let's first look at vocabulary. What is open source? Well, open source is the kind of software that allows customers to modify the program as necessary. So the advantage of open source is uh, usually uh, after a period of time there's a lot of customization for the software that's available to, to um, users. Okay, um, and, and usually open source software is completely free. Um, now, what is Firefox? Well, Firefox is an open source web browser developed by uh, Mozilla. Okay, it can be downloaded free from Mozilla's website. And here's, of course, the URL for it: www.mozilla.com forward slash Firefox. One word. Firefox is one word. Okay, so um, that's the uh, site for downloading the software. So here's the site, and uh, as you can see, um, you see that green button that I'm pointing to? Well, if you click on Download Firefox, uh, it will download Firefox to your computer. Uh, you could download it to your desktop, for example, and then double-click on the, on the icon. Uh, it's usually an .exe file, and it will automatically install on your machine, okay? Uh, it's a very short program. It's only 4.9 megabytes, so it doesn't take up a lot of room on your hard drive, which is kind of nice, okay? All right, now that we've got Firefox, uh, let's look at what are some of the advantages of Firefox. Well, Firefox blocks viruses and spyware and pop-up ads, okay? Uh, and, it, and it does a much better job than, uh, in my opinion, than uh, Internet Explorer, okay? Um, faster browsing, uh, you get faster browsing with Firefox, which is enabled by quick page loading as you navigate, okay? Uh, you also get automatic updates in the background and prompts you uh, when it's ready to install, okay? So that's nice. Um, now, uh, one more feature, which is a very powerful feature, is live bookmarks. These are bookmarks that update automatically with latest content from blogs. Wow. Um, stronger security from worms and viruses and spyware. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> uh, and then uh, Firefox allows tabbed browsing. Now, that's a neat feature. That's a cool feature, okay? And, of course, it is open source software. Okay, now let us look at how do you add an RSS feed of your blog site or your blog to Firefox. Um, those RSS feeds uh, are called live bookmarks in Firefox, okay? So, um, so these live bookmarks are bookmarks that update automatically with the latest content from blogs. And you can easily add RSS feeds to Firefox by simply clicking on the RSS icon. How nice. How do you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, here is Firefox, okay? And what you do is you, you browse to your blog. In my case, it's CSTCC train, one word, dot blogspot dot com. And, and once you have done that, then see that, uh, uh, that uh, RSS icon appears. And when you point to it, uh, it comes up with uh, 
this little uh, tooltip which says, do you want to add a live bookmark? Okay. So when you do that, see that? Um, and when you click on that icon, uh, here is a pop-up um, uh, that comes up and, and says, do you want to add it? And automatically, um, uh, you, all you have to do is click on OK and bingo. Uh, you have it added on to your uh, to your website. Okay, now let me go over to uh, the uh, Firefox and uh, uh, browser. Here's Firefox browser. And I already have a, a live bookmark here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point to it and right click it, and I'm just going to delete it because I want to show you how to add it. I want to show you how easy it is, okay? Um, of course, uh, let me go back to the home page. And uh, when you first launch Firefox, this is how it comes up, right? Uh, so what I would do is I would browse to uh, the blog site. Or the website that you're interested in, um, and then I'm gonna. Um, of course, I'm cheating a little bit since I have it in my history list. Of course, you could always type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash cstcctrain.blogspot.com, and here it is. And now notice that uh, over here is the RSS icon. And as soon as I pointed to it, did you see how that add live bookmark? A tooltip appeared. If I click on it, aha! Here's that window that pops up that says, "Do you want to add a live bookmark? Call it Chattanooga State Training." I'll say, "Yeah, sure do." All I gotta do is click on OK, and now, as soon as I click on OK, watch how it'll appear over here. Okay, so OK, ta-da! Do you see that? Is that nice or is that nice? And now, uh, let me go back to my home page. Um, and now if I want to read my blog, I can go here and click on Welcome, for example. Here's the Welcome page. Hey, this is cool, y'all. Okay. And now, uh, uh, and you can, you can, you know, there's an awful lot of stuff. Yeah, do, do you see how these nice uh, hyperlinks are? If I click on Blogs, for example, it goes to the Wikipedia. Hey, how nice is that? Gives you a detailed explanation of what a blog is, and and there's a lot of information here, so you can, you can you can get all the detailed stuff over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna click back on the back arrow, and we're back to where we started, and and so on and so forth. And here is uh, the library blog, and so on and so forth. And all these are hyperlinks. Okay. Now, if I want to look at the next one, I can go click on Update on Banner Installation. And here's information on Banner. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, and I also happen to have a little audio podcast. You might want to uh, click on that and listen to it. Okay. Um, and, and so on and so forth. And, and uh, here is, for example, what in the world is a blog? Uh, and it tells you all about it and, and tells you the different types of blogs. Um, okay, a photo blog, a video blog, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, so you can click on those hyperlinks and get more information. Here's my best practices in course design. And do you see this, vi this video uh, or the screencast is coming from Google Video? How nice. It's a free website. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you can click on that, and uh, it's a, it, it's a 22-25 minute video you can watch. Um, uh, you can click on screencasting; it tells you all about screencasting. Talks about podcasting, vodcasting, screencast. <laughs> Talks about a little bit about RSS and so on. Uh, and then, of course, uh, so there's an awful lot of information. Okay, and then here's my digital photos on Flickr. And this is coming from a website called YouTube, okay? And all you have to do is click on this and we'll play the video and um, it's, it's really, it's really kind of cool. So if I do that, see how... Uh, 
and there it is. And and here's my screencast. Okay. Hi, and welcome to Digital Pictures and Flickr. And so on and so forth. I'm not going to bore you with the details right now. Uh, we're going to talk about um, Flickr. I'm going to pause it right here, and then uh, and and so on and so forth. Okay. So all right, and that brings us to the end of Firefox and Live Bookmarks. Thank you for attending. Bye.